Uh, I would say that our movement here in the United States is in a real sense a part of a worldwide struggle to break down the barriers of injustice and oppression. It is not an isolated or detached struggle, but it is a part of this worldwide struggle for freedom and human dignity. We must face the tragic fact that 11 o'clock on Sunday morning when thousands of Christians all over the United States stand to sing in Christ there is no east or west, uh, we stand in the most segregated hour of America. On the other hand, I think I must say that some very encouraging things have developed within the last few weeks. I mean encouraging developments within the church. Uh, church groups are now taking the kind of forthright stand uh, that I have longed to see as, as a minister of the gospel. I conceive of this struggle not as a struggle to free 20 million Negroes in the United States, but a struggle to free 180 million citizens of this country. And I don't think anybody in this country can be truly free until the Negro is free. Uh, the law may not change the heart, but it can restrain the heartless. And uh, I think it is uh, an immoral uh, posture uh, to hold the position that individuals, whether they be Negroes or members of other minority groups, should have their basic constitutional and God-given rights held up until some misguided individuals uh, are able to change their attitudes. I think by changing the system itself, we are often able to make it easier for individuals to change their attitudes. I do not want to give the impression that I feel a Negro is not capable of being president. There are many Negroes who are capable this day and were capable yesterday and day before yesterday and many days in the past. Uh, but because of prejudices and narrow-mindedness, Negroes have been held out of uh, the political arena. Uh, and so the day will come, not too distant future, when the Negro vote itself will be powerful enough to be in a coalition with uh, liberals in the white community and thereby elect a Negro president of the United States.